International Airport's fire station is now equipped with two new Oshkosh fire engines. These replace two older trucks and allow for a faster response. Daytona Beach International Airport has dozens of commercial flights arriving and landing each day. And there are hundreds of general aviation flights each day as well. That is why DAB is consistently ranked third in the state for airport operations. Those are takeoffs and landings. Much of that is due to flight training from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and other schools. With all that activity, crews need to be prepared in case of an emergency. RF-1 all units, we do have a confirmed airplane crash. We have heavy smoke showing. Lieutenant Bill Whalen is with Volusia County Fire Rescue and leads the crew at the ARF station. Over the years, FAA has done a lot of work and study on the response times if uh, we were to have an incident at the airport. And uh, what we shoot for is we need to get the firefighters in gear and the trucks on scene in less than 180 seconds. The Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting Station, known as ARF, is a specialized unit of Volusia County Fire Services. The station is on airport property and the crew is required to respond to any incident or accident on the runway within three minutes. The ARF trucks are designed differently than a traditional firehouse station. Uh, for one thing, they carry a lot more water and product. This one carries 1,500 gallons of water, 250 gallons of AFFF foam, which is used to fight fuel fires, and it also has 500 pounds of a chemical called Purple K, which is an extinguishing powder. It has our hose line for us. When it gets to the end, you can give it a good tug, and that would turn the system on. As with any new equipment, crews were trained on the new trucks. The other things that these do, aside from being very, very fast, is they can pump and roll. And what I mean by that is you can actually drive the truck and flow water out of one of the two turrets, either on the roof or on the bumper, while driving the truck. There are many new features. Right off the bat, they're faster. Um, they're much quicker. We carry uh, more product in them. We have other different features like our thermal imaging cameras and uh, a camera around the entire truck for when we're maneuvering it in tight spaces. We have a huge light bar tower on the roof that can be deployed for nighttime operations. And just obviously it's like anything else. The, the trucks that these are replacing are over 15 years old. So with that 15 years comes better communications equipment, a truck that's just, just better built and, and put together better. While aircraft crashes are rare, it is critical for rescue crews to have the right and best equipment in the event of an accident. Anytime we have any type of uh, an alert or an aircraft emergency, or even if the pilot feels that there, that there could be an issue with the aircraft when he's, when he's landing, we'll take the trucks and we'll, we'll pull them out and go to what we call standby areas. So we can position the ARF trucks as close as we can to whatever, whatever runway that aircraft is landing on, just to really increase that time. Our, our goal is to when that aircraft stops, that we're on scene seconds later. And with the high level of flight activity, the crews are kept busy every day. We are really busy out here with air traffic and, and plus one of our fixed base operators also has a military contract. So we do get a lot of military aircraft that come in. The crews also respond to other aviation incidents such as fuel spills. But our number one role with a fuel spill is to stop stop the fuel spill, mitigate it, and protect. So for a large fuel spill, we would, we would come on the scene and we would cover the entire uh, the entire spill with that AFFF foam. And what that foam does, it actually floats on top of the fuel, it suppresses the vapors, so the vapors can't find an ignition source. And then we'd work in conjunction with the Volusia County Hazardous Materials team and a private contractor to come in and, and clean it up and finish mitigating it. But the crew did recently help out a furry critter that lost its way. We, we're not allowed pets, obviously, inside because it's a controlled area, but we have, uh, last month, we did find a stray kitten somehow worked its way onto the airport and the firefighter found it up underneath the ARF truck crying. So uh, we rescued the kitten and we called the animal services to come and from what I understand, it's been adopted. For Daytona Beach International Airport, I'm Joanne Magley.